Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, series of cash flows and I'm going to actually turn it into a, a, a sample valuation for a company. So to make it a little bit easier, I just did it on an Excel spreadsheet for the, to adjust it for the time value of money. So I've got the same cash flows, $100 first year, $125, then $150 thereafter. And um, I'm going to assume 10% as a, um, the discount rate. You can pick whatever you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to discount the cash flow uh, of each year down uh, to today's dollars or back to today's dollars using a 10% rate. Okay. Um, and the spreadsheet, uh, I've done that within the formula. Uh, the other thing we've got to calculate is the terminal value and discount that also back to uh, current value. And remember what I said in the last section, the discount rate, whatever you choose, even though it is an estimate, it's got to be the expected return uh, by investors. So based on this risk uh, or the risk of this company, investors are assuming that they want at least a 10% per year return in order to justify their investment and take on the risk that, uh, that they're taking. Now the question is, how do you get the value, uh, the terminal value, the value after five years? In this case, I've made a simple assumption. I assumed it's going to be a perpetuity after. So it's, it's sort of flattened out at the $150 in year five. I'm going to assume it's $150 forever after that. And if that's the case, you just take 150 divided by the discount rate of 0.1 and it comes to a value of 1500. Now businesses don't last forever, but it's a, it's a proxy. So this is a way of doing it. Um, so we've got $1,500 as a year five cash flow plus the other five years of cash flow. And uh, if you discount all of that cash flow back to today's dollar values, it comes to 1434. So if this is in millions, this company would be worth 1.434 million billion dollars. And that's the enterprise value of the company. Um, and uh, if there was a debt in the company, then remember you have to adjust for the debt component by uh, taking it uh, by taking it off. Uh, that value to get the equity value because enterprise value is equal to um, is equal to debt plus equity. So what if debt is 200 million for this company? Um, if we want to calculate the enterprise or the equity value, uh, which would be you know the, the value of all the stocks that are trading on the marketplace if it's public, then we, you go back to the formula where enterprise value is equal to debt plus equity. Therefore, equity is going to be enterprise value minus debt or 1434 minus 200, 1234, which is uh, one point, if it's in millions, $1.234 uh, billion. Um, so is this, uh, is this a scientific formula? Uh, the answer is yes and no. The, the formula itself is uh, pretty accurate. The concepts of it fundamentally uh, would give you the correct answer if all the variables are correct as well. Okay, that, and that's the, the question mark in, in all of these types of uh, scenarios is how accurate are the variables? If the variables are not accurate, um, then as a result of all of that, um, you, uh, you'll you have a, an answer that is not accurate. Uh, the variables that can cause problems are uh, three things. Uh, first of all, the cash flow projections, which is the annual payments that the or the annual revenues and income the company earns. Second is the discount rate which is your estimation of what investors want as a return. And, and that can change over time as well, for, even for the same company. And the third thing is uh, the terminal value of the company. Uh, remember we estimated uh, five years of cash flows and then beyond five years, it was what would happen if, uh, if it continued forever after that. So cash flow, if we rank, you know, the risk of them being wrong, cash flow projection for five years, usually it's a pretty low risk. If it's a mature company, you've got a good idea what the um, what the cash flow is expected to be. So you can you can take a guess with reasonable accuracy. It won't be deadly accurate, but it will be pretty close. Um, the discount rate uh, is probably again a medium risk. Is uh, you have a general idea of what investors are expecting. Uh, terminal value can be medium to high risk. Uh, the problem with terminal value is it's uh, several years down the road, usually five years. And, um, and you never know when a business is going to end and how long its life will be. And the other thing is it's the largest portion of the value. If you, if you look at the cash flows every year, 1500 of it is um, from terminal value. And you just compare that to the actual 
cash flows that are generated over the five years, uh, 1500 is by far the biggest portion of all of it. So if you make an incorrect calculation or assumption on the terminal value, basically the entire value that you've created or calculated is not going to be um, uh, it's not going to be very accurate. So as a result, the formula is pretty reasonable, but uh, the level of accuracy of your result depends on the level of accuracy of your variables.